right, y'all, who's ready for a snack? Ooh, me, me, me. An art snack. Ah. That's right, it's time for another Art Snacks Plus unboxing and challenge. And hey, do you want to get your own Art Snacks box? You can get 10% off your first month using the code Casey Golden. Links in the description. Okay, so let's see what's in here, because I don't know. Oh, well, I do know one thing. I'm very excited about these bubble wrap Ziploc baggies. Why is this the most amazing thing to me? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get our list of supplies over here. So that's for the plus, and this is for the regular. So I can already see the words abstract and paint, and let me tell you, I'm terrified. So let's go ahead and see what this is about. This is our Frederick Mixed Media Paint Board 8x10, so we're definitely going to be doing some painting on a board. I'll set this aside. Oh yeah, and our candy, we have a dum-dum, a grape dum-dum. I've had lots of dum-dums in my life. It's like the cheapest classic candy. If you wanna bring a lot of candy to a lot of kids, dum-dums are your candy. That said, Salt Casey doesn't discriminate. So aside from our paint board, it looks like these Cinelier Abstract Acrylic paint tips set of eight is our other item for the plus box and let me tell you I'm terrified let's look at these so here are our tips it looks like we've got a variety like a round one that's a, like a medium size and maybe like a round one that's at a much smaller size I don't know if you can see this here is a tri tip so there's three tips to this one, very interesting. We've got a flat one, a smaller flat one, and a two-tip. So a few varieties there. Um, interesting, I'll just put those guys there. Hey, stay together. So let's look at our paints. We have the Cinelier Abstract Matte Soft Body Acrylics in these really interesting bags. These look like little juice bags or something very interesting so some soft body soft body acrylics in red and blue making <clears throat> making purple getting into our little pack here we've got a Windsor and Newton fine liner in 0.3 ooh it's very long looking so there's our fine liner if we could focus thank you and last but not least, we have our King Art Radiant Taclon Brush Oval Wash size one half. So there you go. There is our brush and that is all of our supplies. No swatching needed. It seems like we're just going to dive in and do some abstract painting, which I am terrified. I'm sorry, hold on. Is this a joke? Do we have jokes here? What do you call a mislabeled color? Go ahead, type your guesses in the comments. I want to see if you guys are right. You ready? Okay, the answer is a false accusation. Ha. <laughs> yeah, dad jokes. Okay, so aside from that hilarious joke, there's not really much information on how to use these or what we're supposed to do. So I think it's just kind of up to personal interpretation. We do have a fine liner, so maybe I will do some drawing on top of our abstract stuff. That said, I'm scared. Let's get started. Hello everyone, and welcome to my very white um, new setup. Because we're working with a lot of paints, and I think we're gonna get messy, I thought it would be best if I covered my desk with a giant piece of watercolor paper, so... I actually think it'd be really cool to sketch directly on my surface and like mix colors and stuff. So I'm prepared to get messy. My apron is on and I'm ready to go. And honestly, I'm feeling inspired. So let's get, after I sat there and arranged these tips to be a straight line, let's get our paints and tips out of the way and our brush and let's get to sketching. I think I actually have quite a few ideas so I'm going to go ahead and sketch directly on our surface here. How cool is this? So we only have two colors and then our black liner, which by the way, very thin. <laughs> I was a little worried about that because this is the only black liner we have. I was thinking about working a lot with black and white, but this is a very thin liner. So I'm a little scared. 
Ooh, we can really play with texture. Okay. You guys, I'm feeling so inspired. Let's just get into it. We're already into it. Let's just keep going. So I was thinking about having just a portrait of someone. And because we have these great texturizing tip things, which I'm having a hard time picking up, these little guys look like they would be a lot of fun to add texture and just like put paint down and let it be. So with that in mind, I was thinking about drawing a portrait of somebody with like a sweater on and I could play around with like the texture and it could be very 3D because I mean, why work with paint like this and make it very flat? You wanna make it all, so that might be really fun. And because we're only playing with two colors, I also thought it would be really fun to give this girl like white hair. I could color the background purple or red or blue. You could also have a cat or something that's white or like a bird on her shoulder. Interesting. I definitely think I am feeling a portrait over a landscape, but there is the possibility, I guess, of doing just, speaking of landscape, a landscape drawing. Okay, so what if we have like our dinosaur, but then you like, you look under the water and it has a butt and like legs. I think as silly as our dinosaur with legs is, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the portrait. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw this a little bigger. So I have more of an idea of what to do. So there we go, there's our rectangle, almost says square. I think that's enough sweater showing to show texture. We don't need arms, I suppose. Who needs arms? I sure don't. And no, she's not me. <laughs> I know she's got like a bob-ish hair and I am obsessed with bangs, but it's not me. I think I want to do something like this. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and sketch on our board. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Have I mentioned how scared I am? I just want to get a couple of swatches. Okay, <laughs> it just pooed it out, that's fine. I just wanna get a couple of swatches. All right, so here is our red. Oh, it's a little on the pinker side than I expected. And of course our blue, which wow is, yeah, these colors are actually a lot more brighter than I anticipated, so I might end up mixing the red into the blue and the blue into the red just to mute them down a little bit. Cause they're a little, they're a little brighter than I'd like, but yeah, there you go. There's our swatching, our sketching. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is actually just another piece of watercolor paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the girl on here, cut her out, and then put the piece of paper on top of the canvas thing, tape it down, and paint on top to create the negative space for her. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, you can watch me do it. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I've got my scrap piece of paper here and let's draw our girl character. I'm going to make sure I have her centered. So I'm going to measure, oh my gosh, four inches. So let's see, so that's more centered. So this will definitely be acting as our reference after we paint her negative space onto the canvas. And then we go through with the pen details. All right, and then we can have our textured sweater, which I will definitely be playing around with. So I feel like she might be too close to the edge. I'll probably make her hair just a little bit smaller, but I'll do that when I cut it out. So here we go. I'm so curious to see how this is going to turn out. It's either going to be disastrous or a success. Okay, at this point, I think some of the spaces are too tight for my scissors, so I'm going to cut this with an X-Acto knife um, off camera somewhere, so I will be right back with this cut and ready to go. Okay, she is cut out, so let's tape her on to our canvas. Can you even see this? It's a white void. There's so much white stuff. Okay, so I'm going to use some tape and tape her down. So again, I will be right back unless I have something interesting to say. 
Okay, and that is the last piece of tape, so I guess I will just put her on right there. Yeah? Does that look good? Okay, so wow, it is a lot more 3D than I thought it was going to be, so I'm a little scared about that, but we will figure it out. So here she is. I'm going to cut out a little hair piece. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to mix some purple because I want the background to be purple. And then we're going to get to painting. And this is, I'm terrified, but let's get to mixing color. It's probably not the best to do it on a piece of paper, but here we are. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so that's very purple. <laughs> I think I actually like this, this color. It's a really deep, dark purple. So I think I'm going to say this is good. Good job, me. And I'm going to paint around her. Where's my brush? There it is, okay. I'm going to paint around her and I'm so scared. I don't know if this paper is just so 3D, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but heck, let's just go for it. Okay, so our sides are colored. I feel like that would have bothered me if I didn't color the sides, so I went ahead. So I'm terrified that our little paper stencil isn't going to do a great job, but we'll never know until we dive right in, so. Huh. Let's just see what happens. And if it doesn't look great, I can always go back and paint over it and smooth out some areas. So there's always an option. Even if this fails, I do think it's really fun just to try different techniques and, you know, see what works. Cause I wouldn't have tried this otherwise, and it's really cool just to try something new and see what's up. If it fails, it fails, but I'm having fun and I'm trying something new. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, should I do a dotted texture? A dotted texture actually might be a lot creepier than a stroked texture. Something to think about, honestly. Yeah, I'll have to go through with my brush afterwards. I think acrylic takes a little bit longer to dry. So after I get the base down, I'm gonna go through with my brush and create some texture. I think that would be really fun. I wish I had double-sided tape. Actually, that would have made this a lot easier. I'm actually gonna go ahead with the texture just to, let's see. I want to get my brush a little dry. I think around the character, if it was a little bit lighter and then it faded out to like a darker paint, that might be interesting. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm getting really curious to see the stencil and if it worked. I'm getting really anxious to take it off. I am going to let this dry for a little bit and then I will get back and take the stencil off. I'm scared. I'm scared, but excited. All right. Okay, so I think this is mostly dry. Let's remove our stencil for the grand reveal. I'm scared. Have I said I'm scared enough in this video? Here we go. All right, so like I said, it is very textured, which is what I was afraid of. Let's put her there for reference. Which, you know what, isn't a bad thing. I, I think some texture is fun. I don't, I don't think I play around with texture enough in my art, so I think it'll be fun to have, to have that texture. So, I am going to use our fine liner. Oh my gosh, I have paint on my nail. I can always depend on the subscription box to get me out of my comfort zone, which I think is so cool which is why I continue to do them. I just think it's like, I'm never going to do an illustration with acrylic on a canvas like this. Probably, right? Until something like a subscription box 
forces me to do that. It's really cool. And then you guys get to watch me struggle and try to come up with something. So I'm going to use our pen to do some line work. I actually might make it rough and textured because that's something I don't normally do. I think it'd be really fun to play with something I don't normally do, right? Like I said, get out of our comfort zone. I don't think this pen is doing so well on the canvas. As you can see, it has gotten very sparse and spotty and just not going down as thick and consistent as it probably would on normal paper. It is kind of strange to give a fine liner like this on a canvas project, but I don't know, like I said, it's fun to try new things and see what works. I just don't think this is working because this pen doesn't seem to want to keep writing on the canvas. Lots of scribbling happening. I'm worried for this pen. I feel like it has absolutely died. This canvas was not, oof, not the material for it. And it is barely hanging in there. I wanted to put more lines in her hair, but this pen is just, ooh, not doing it. This brush is too big, but we'll figure it out. Oh my gosh. I added too much purple to it. Oh no. Ah. Okay, I'm sorry, I broke out my own brush, but the original brush was just so big and impossible to work with. Okay, I watered the acrylics down, so I can paint her nose on much lighter. And you know I have to give her blushy cheeks. Boop, 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 boop. And then of course, oh wow, that pen is not, waterproof oh boy i'm like so surprised that i'm actually having fun and enjoying this box i think i just went in super scared the fun thing about working with such textured paints like this is that even though everything's one solid color i can sit here and do a stroke to suggest that something is a separate piece and you will see that with how thick the paint is so I just gave her a collar and you can see that because the paint is actually 3D and you can see the strokes with it, which is so cool. Now it doesn't look like one piece, like a shirt or something. It looks like a sweater. Okay, so while the shirt continues to dry, I think I'm actually going to take our background color and our shirt color and I'm going to push the fact that she is a ghost now and I do really like the fact that the edges of hers aren't super smooth. So it makes it look like she's a ghost. So I'm going to go in and make it look like maybe she is like fading, <laughs> like she is a ghost. And she's got that faded edge to her, but not too much. I'm just gonna do this a little bit on the edges. Does that look like you can see the shirt behind it? I'm not really sure, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure to, that was bad. I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I think I have added as much detail as I want onto our ghost girl. I think to finish, I'm going to use this three dangled filter thing to add texture to her sweater. And although I do like this really toned down color, I've added purple to the red so it's not obnoxiously bright, I guess I'm going to risk it and just use straight red. I don't think I like that. I think I'm actually going to risk it and scoop some of this mixture up, put it in here because I'm not really concerned about contaminating this. So I'm going to scoop some of the purple blue mixture into this container, put this on, and then add texture to her sweater. That said, wish me luck. This acrylic is the slowest drying acrylic I've ever seen, which honestly, not, not a bad thing. So let's try to scoop as much in here as we can. Gosh, is this going to be a horrible idea? Oh, absolutely. You know what? If this turns out 
horribly wrong. At least we created a really cool gradient from purple to red, right? Okay, I think that is plenty of paint. I mean, let's be honest, this isn't going to work, right? Maybe? Really quick, before I jump into this and completely blow it, I am going to take this blue one and put the double nozzle on and do a quick test. Let's just see what this looks like before I jump in and completely screw up this other one. Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, wee wee. Oh, we should do like a texture like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now I kind of regret not playing around with texture more. Oh, that's so cool. Her sweater could have been... The only thing is like, I just don't like how obnoxiously blue and red these colors are. That said, <laughs> let's just jump right into it. Oh, oh my gosh. It's interesting enough to where I just feel like it's fun to play around with this. Look at that, that's so cool. Oh my God, it's so cool. Here comes that red. Oh my God, I love it. This moment will go down in history as a time where Casey Golden actually really liked exploring something new and trying something new. I love this. You guys, I had so much fun. I came into this very scared, but I had fun. Oh my gosh. Actually, let's see if she's like dried, stuck. Oh, yep, she, she sure is. Let's peel her off. All right, there you go. Here's our finished acrylic and pen illustration. I had so much fun with this. Look at that texture. The texture on her sweater is so fun and it needs to dry, but I absolutely love it. Just look at that. Are you looking? Do you, do you use your eyeballs? Are you using your eyeballs? That is so much fun. I actually had a surprisingly amount of fun with this illustration. This is so cool. I hope you guys had fun. Thank you so much to Art Snacks for sending me this box. Oh my God, I just put my hand in paint. If you want to get your own Art Snacks, click the link in the description. Use code Casey Golden to get your discount. I mean, why not? I had so much fun with this box. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay golden. Bye.